I just snapped. So I picked up the phone and I phoned Ella and I screamed at her, get my daughter's name off the internet now. Why you did this? That's what I said. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And she said, it's not me, it's Sabine. A trained computer scientist, Sabine had become obsessed with the idea that social services were stealing children. And I am speaking on behalf of 1,000 children taken a month in the UK. What they were saying was that I was coming into school on a Wednesday and abusing my daughter and other children. I do remember just really thinking, oh my God, oh my God, we've been accused of being paedophiles. When you, when you, when somebody cries for help and is nearly sinking, then you give them, you try to get them out of wherever they're in, don't you? Four of the 175 named abusers acted as the victims of being harassed by my campaign, even though I never, never, ever contacted anybody personally. And, if, and I don't know who did, did I? I just published what I published. And so I you never didn't even take any responsibility for them having been harassed <laughs> for the four mothers. <laughs> Not exactly without their innocence being established. Wouldn't that be nice if somebody had first of all checked whether they, uh, the, 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 the accusations of the children? Can you describe what satanic ritual abuse is for someone that doesn't understand that term? I can only go or I can by what the children described, both together and independently of each other. And that, to me, was great validation. I mean, just crimes against children, abuse, sexual abuse. And the big thing about the hamster children is that for the first time, there were children who were reported until, until then it had only been adult survivors. So the four mothers at the centre who brought the charges against you, they were named as abusers and their children were named and their children were named as having liked sex and been part of sex acts as being part of the cult on a list that you published. And they were contacted themselves by paedophiles who wanted to meet them. They were sent photos of guns People would knock on their door I, to try and find them. Sorry, I can't, I can't cope with that. I can't. I can't. Tell me, why can't you cope with that? Because they had to live with that, the consequences of that. Their children's lives were changed forever by the publishing of their details and their materials. I think their lives were changed forever through their abuse beforehand. But they aren't child abusers, these mums. They're oh, they are not. Mums, they are. No. Oh, yes. Uh, what makes you think that? I've spent some time, I've spent a lot of time with them, getting to know them. And their have you? Stories, yeah. I see. What, how do you know that they're child abusers? How have you, how have you established that? No, I have not. I have not. But you I... just said to me they are child abusers. Well, they were named, that was all. Not, but not by me. life this case you wake up and you realize you're not yourself anymore in terms of my mental health i think there's some deep harm there it's taken some years to get a bit of peace back into my life it's affected my belief um, in goodness in the world and then i think now I'm a bit of a recluse, to be honest. 
who I was the day before this happened to who I was the day that this happened are two completely different people. I've never gone back to who I was before this.